Bismuth subsalicylate, trade name kaopectate or peptobismol. I know you've already heard of this medication. I know you may be taking it, or you definitely have a bottle of this in your house, right? This pink peptobismol. So bismuth subsalicylate. The indication for this medication is diarrhea, heartburn, indigestion, H. pylori associated ulcers. Okay, so the, the weird thing is we use this medication a lot, right? Everybody has a bottle of this in their home, but the, the truth of the matter is that the actual means or, or mechanism of action by which this all works is still not very well documented. Some of the ways that it's thought to work is that it stimulates the absorption of fluids and electrolytes in the intestinal wall. It reduces hypermotility of the stomach and it binds to toxins uh, produced by E. coli. Okay, so there's a couple ways and, and it does have weak antacid properties. Okay, so these are some of the ways that it's thought to work and, and possibly a combination of all these is kind of how it works within the body and how it you know can be used for diarrhea, heartburn, indigestion, and H. pylori associated ulcers. So therapeutic class is anti-diarrhea and anti-ulcer. Pharmacologic class is adsorbent. So some of the things you really want to keep in mind here, remember the name of this medication is bismuth sub salicylate. Remember when we talked about aspirin, how it's a salicylate. So one of the things to keep in mind here is we want to use, and it's contraindicated with aspirin hypersensitivity. Okay. So we, we really want to watch that the patient has any previous reaction to aspirin or is hypersensitive to aspirin. We really want to monitor that. And it's really contraindicated if the patient has that history. It can increase risk for impaction with geriatric or pediatric patients. Okay, so in our older and our younger populations, it can actually actually increase the risk for impaction. And it can bismuth, the bismuth part of it can actually interfere with radiologic exams. So if a patient is going for a, a, a radiological exam, it, the, the, this bismuth, if they take peptobismol right before they go for the exam, this could actually interfere with the uh, effectiveness of that exam. Another thing we want to do is we want to monitor liver profile, okay? We want to monitor our LFTs and see how the liver is being affected by the patient taking this medication. This has been another episode of the nursing.com MedMaster podcast. My name is John Haas, RN, CCRN alumnus, and I want to give you our free download of the 50 most commonly prescribed medications. To get that free download, just go to nursing.com slash 50 meds. That's five zero nursing.com slash 50 meds. We love you guys. We want you to succeed. That's why we provide clear, concise, and visual supplement for nursing school and the clinical floor. We love you guys. Go out and be your best selves. Happy nursing.